ಕರುಣ ಕುರಿಸೆ ಕಳ್ಳು ಚಿರು ನವ್ವೋ ಮೋಮುನಕು ಕಸ್ತೂರಿ ತಿಲಕ ಮೂದಿದ್ದನ ಕರುಣ ಕುರಿಸೆ ಕಳ್ಳು ಚಿರು ನವ್ವು ಮೋಮುನಕು ಕಸ್ತೂರಿ ತಿಲಕ ಮೂದಿದ್ದನ ಪೂಜ ಚೇಯನ ನೇನು ಪೂಜ ಚೇಯನ ಭಗವತಿ ಭಗವಾನುಲ ಬಂಗಾರು ಪಾದಾಲ ಪೂಜ ಚೇಯನ ನೇನು ಪೂಜ ಚೇಯನ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ನಸಗೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಭಗವಾನುಲಕು ಜೀವಿತಾಂತಮು ಸೇವಲು ಚೇಯನ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ನಸಗೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಭಗವಾನುಲಕು ಜೀವಿತಾಂತಮು ಸೇವಲು ಚೇಯನ ಸೇವ ಚೇಯನ ನೇನು ಸೇವ ಚೇಯನ ಭಗವತಿ ಭಗವಾನುಲ ಬಂಗಾರು ಧರ್ಮ ಮುನಕು ಸೇವ ಚೇಯನ ನೇನು ಸೇವ ಚೇಯನ ಪೂಜ ಚೇಯನ ನೇನು ಸೇವ ಚೇಯನ ಪೂಜ ಚೇಯನ ನೇನು ಸೇವ ಚೇಯನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಸೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮ್ಯಾನಿಟಿ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಗೋಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ how can we realize the full potential of the oneness temple which forms a key component of your vision as your devotees what is our role what are your plans for this <clears throat> uh, this temple which we now call the mukti mandapam it was designed uh, like a machine to give you mukti it is actually the uh, uh, the, the three dimensional form of the surya yantra so as you enter uh, the structure it very naturally activates the kundalini and it starts making the chakras move faster now when that happens when we get the diksha also there then the diksha becomes magnified several times over now the purpose of uh, building this temple is to affect planetary energies which would be changing in the year 2012 so to affect the planet as a whole like the pyramids and stone henge and the other great ancient monuments they too were built for the same purposes and other thing is to awaken the individual so we have now started the process now and uh, in the last few weeks we have been getting a, a very dramatic results almost every day here or there somebody is becoming awakened so now we are keeping track of the awakened people and uh, on the website we are uploading the westerners and the east asians like chinese japanese we are uploading them and soon we will be uploading the indians also and uh, it's like the rocket has been launched it is taken off now so mukti is happening <laughs> and in the next weeks and months you will see it's going to accelerate like anything and probably for the first time in uh, human history this is happening that through a specific program people are becoming awakened otherwise it's one buddha here one ramana there or one ramakrishna there nobody underwent a specific program or process and became awakened it was more often spontaneous this could be probably the first time in world history it is happening and uh, we are getting very very good results and they are coming in very fast now and uh, if you keep an eye on the uh, website we have much more many more cases with us we don't have time to upload them so we will be uploading them and i would recommend that you read uh, these experiences how some have got buddhist enlightenment some have got hindu enlightenment some have got christian enlightenment some have got realized so all varieties are happening now so that will be very very educative for you and then when you come to the temple uh, we hope to do the same process for you and uh, very soon you too could be awakened yes so, uh, thank you bhagwan uh, being achieved now thank you thank you uh, now is the second question uh bhagwan we have contemplated 
on your teaching to see is to be free many times we find that we are filled with negative emotions like jealousy lust fear etc however this non judgmental awareness lasts for a very brief period and we go back to judging ourselves very soon we are controlled by the overpowering force of our negative emotions can you please guide us what to do to overcome this please give us a blessing to make seeing a natural phenomenon for all of us to see is to be free that happens for a short time but then for it to continue you have to watch the naming process in which the mind indulges in the problem is with the naming process like for example if a child were to look at a tree he does not call it a tree he does not know what it is but it is nevertheless experiencing the tree on the other hand you would say it is a coconut tree or a mango tree or whatever tree it is and then you would say it's but a nice fruit i would like to eat it the whole commentary starts so actually what is happening is happening there that's all over which you have no control the whole universe is involved in it but you call it a negative thought you call it a negative emotion and you call it uh, jealousy anger lust hatred the problem is not with anger not with jealousy not with hatred but it is with your naming why do you call it anger lust hatred why do you name it whatever is there is there and whether it is a uh, thought towards god or lust both are equally sacred because god is both there's nothing but god only the universe is god and god is his universe so how could you say this is bad that is good obviously you can't say that unless we have the high and the low the up and the down the front and the back there can be no creation if you have the electron you must have the proton if you have matter you must have anti matter you cannot do without both sides and that is the essential principle of creation so they will all be there and i have often told you it is not your mind it is the human mind it has been so and it will be so the structure has not changed jealousy anger hatred lust all remain the same fear everything but the objects of fear have changed the object of lust has changed the object of jealousy has changed maybe it was a sphere now it's a bungalow or a car so the whole the only the object of desire the object of uh, all these emotions have changed but they are very much the same it does not change and it will not change what you are hoping is you are hoping that the mind will change no the mind will not change see that is why the problem is you say i suffer from anger and that's where you become unenlightened now there are some tribes in the world who more or less are some kind of awakened people their language is very strange they won't say i am angry no in their language they say i angrying <laughs> i jealousying i fearing because they are seeing it as actually happening that's all so their word at fear is not naming at all it just to say something is happening not that i have fear i have anger these are the people who make it very very easily the problem with you you is you are stuck with labeling naming now when you keep watching you will see how the mind is involved in this trick or game of naming that's where the problem starts now that will help you up to a point but the thing is the mind is ever going to be the same whether it's for you or for ramana maharshi or for a buddha the mind cannot be changed what has happened to them is they have come out of the mind they no more identify with the mind now you would say this is my mind that we call anatma and anatma or false identification is because of what we call prajna parada which is failure of intelligence that's why in the level 2 mahadiksha course we try to teach you that you suffer from failure of intelligence now the intelligence has flowered in a ramana in a buddha or ramakrishna or paramahamsa and therefore they do not identify with their mind their mind is some other animal going there that's all what do you do the cow on the road you do nothing the same thing with your mind also it is just there you should not think that your mind will change no you will no more identify with your mind you will just come out of it you will pull down and for that of course the problem is you are all living in a prison but the strangest thing is you do not even know that you are in a prison you have so beautifully decorated the prison 
nice dining table, curtains, air conditioners, kitchen, everything is there. But that does not mean uh, you're really enjoying it. There's no true enjoyment. But then you're, you've been able to manage your suffering. You're, you've all got an MBA in the art of managing your suffering. So what's the dining table? That is your security in a husband. What's the kitchen? The security you've got in your wife. And the small uh, chairs, maybe the children. Air conditioner, maybe your parents. Or name or fame. So name, fame and all the attachments, they are the furniture of the house. It's been nicely put together in place. And I am all for it. So, but then you got to realize, still it's only a prison. And then you must try to come out of the prison because you're not living. That's why on our channel we say existing to living. You're just existing. Your mechanical life from morning to night, year after year, and finally, what is there? There's nothing at the end of it. So if you want to live, you must come out of the mind. So there's a lock inside which you must blast open. How? By realizing you are in a prison. But still you cannot come out. We who are outside would come and blast the lock outside and pull you out. That's what is called mukti or awakening. That we will do. So in the month of January, I was speaking more on the sea is to be free. Now for the month of February, I already give the teachings. I have given to some uh, uh, one particular satsang, I think, in Dubai. Or you can go to the Russian website. So that is the teaching you have got to contemplate on for the month of February. For the month of March or in April, I will be giving you different teachings. And as you keep contemplating, then when you finally come for a process uh, the Mukti Mandapam, hopefully you will return back to Dubai fully awakened. It is becoming easier. And it will become more easier if we have more uh, Diksha givers uh, there itself. And because you must give and take Dikshas. Therefore, uh, those who run the satsangs like Yuvaji and Subhadraji, we will uh, soon be making them into initiators of the Diksha. That is, they can initiate you there in Dubai itself to become Diksha givers. And then, of course, we will be making them also into one as level one teachers. And then level two, it goes on like that. First, we will be initiating them to become initiators themselves. It will start as soon as they could come to India. We are now ready. So you uh, must learn to become Diksha givers. So it is giving and receiving. This must go on in Dubai because uh, giving is more powerful than receiving Dikshas, actually. It will start the process. As you listen to me on the Skype uh, month by month, and then uh, you do this giving and receiving, maybe there itself you could become awakened. Or when you come to the uh, Mukti Mandap, you could become awakened. So you are pretty close to it, all of you. So don't think it is some far or Thank you, thank you. Getting closer and closer as we are getting closer to <laughs> We are and all grateful. What exactly it is to live? Right now, you are merely existing. That's all. Yes. Thank you, Bhagwan. We are all grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, our last question. Many of us seem to be suffering from high level of insecurity and fear about our jobs and economic status under current circumstances. Could you please bless us and guide us how to come out of this feeling of insecurity or fear and focus on our spiritual development. Yes, uh, Amma and Bhagavan, we are very concerned about that. And uh, we are taking some sankalpas to help you. And if you become uh, Diksha givers, then the giving and receiving of Dikshas will very effortlessly handle the fear and the insecurity. And if in the inner world you become free of insecurity and fear, then the external world, all things will go well for you. So the best way to handle your problems is that you must become inwardly free. Let us say you have lost your job. It can cause tremendous insecurity and fear. Now if through the giving and receiving of Dikshas, where Diksha means we actually flow through you, then what happens is we would remove that insecurity and the fear, though you might not have a job. And because of that, maybe in three, four days or a week or ten days, you will get a new job. So the work has to be done inside. That's why becoming a blessing givers is important, or diksha givers is important. That is why uh, Yuvaji and Subhadraji must quickly become initiators. And then as a group, you must give and receive diksha, beautifully handle the inner world, and the external world automatically changes. See, all problems which are there are a reflection or a manifestation of what is going on inside. Change the inside, things change outside. That's the technique. 
So don't worry about it. We are with you. We'll fully help you out. Thank you, Bhagwan. I, I don't know if I was. Uh, I don't don't think I've spoken in this satsang before. I've been speaking some other satsangs, and all over India. So we are. We have dismantled the spiritual uh, structure, and uh, that's the reason why the Paul is speaking. As you have dismantled the, the structure, as the phenomenon is being unleashed, uh, it's acquiring tremendous power, and mukti is being delivered. So as a consequence, you must know that there are no dasas in the order. No dasas, no achyas, nobody like that. So the structure is completely gone. And as I said, my son is not my successor, nor the achyas my dasas, because they cannot succeed. There's nobody succeeds to Amar Bhagwan. So the only two heirs are you people. You are the ones who are going to succeed. You are the ones whom we are going to train and, ha- <coughs> and hand over the power. So you have to get ready for that by the year 2014. So as a first step, the spiritual structure has been dismantled. So there are no ajaras, no dasas. But I would like to give you a small lot of caution. If by any chance you should utter the word acharya or dasa, all grace would be instantly cut off. Not even an, an atom of grace would come for you. That you have to be very, very clear. Absolutely clear. It's exactly like your cell phone. The moment uh, you stop paying your uh, bills, the cell phone ceases to function. Is remotely controlled, no? The same thing here also. All things are remotely controlled. At the moment you do that, grace would stop. So no more question of that word should not come at all. They are just my friends. Whoever are there are my friends, and who are helping me in this work. And before 2014, many of them would have retired. They would have gone back to the normal lives, and I'd be helping them to settle down in life and continue with their work. They're fully taken care of for their life. Of course, you can also help me in helping them out. And they'll also be mad, just like you, settling down. And uh, you could also be good enough to pick up some good bride rooms for them or good brides for them. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Very clear that no dasas. That must go out of your system, and then you will hasten towards mukti or, or awakening. But then, if you are uh, use the word dasa or attached to them in some way or the other, no hope for you. Directly related to God, that's all. No middleman, no middlewoman. Direct. Stepped up. He says he stepped up, and uh, uh, Mukti is happening. Everything is happening because the middle people have been removed. The obstruction has been removed, and therefore it's very, very fast. So I hope all of you are very clear. So yeah. now, I do not know if you already seen my message for the month of February. Otherwise, see it and then continue with the uh, meditation here. So now. We'll do a short meditation for three minutes. Then you can you can continue the meditation after seeing my message for February. Thank you. Thank you very much, Baba.